Sonzan funded our, my first startup when I came out from Bell Lab. For the last 20 years, we have been partners in innovations in many different areas, in communications, in smartphones, in international new standard, the 4G standard. But now, we're taking on a new trip. The trip is for the singularity. We share the dream in the next three decades, 2050 or 49, right? And we'll get there. And how do we get there? Let's look at the biology. The human brain is one giant complex machine. It uses sodium ion as its conductivity. Nature chose it because it consumes one million times less power than electronics. So for 1,500 gram of a human brain, it has 100 billion neuron, which is equivalent to 100 billion chips. And it consumes only 40 watts, just like one simple light bulb. But if we take that and try to build that machine with semiconductors, even with the latest and greatest semiconductors, it will weigh thousands of tons. It will consume 20 to 30 megawatts power. So clearly, if we have to build a robot that is as intelligent as a human, it will not be able to carry the brain on its shoulder. Solution, put it in the cloud. Our goal is to solve that problem by building that cloud brain and to be able to connect to the robot. But nature is fair. If that computer is built, it is one million times faster than the human brain. So one million robots can share it. If we look at the next picture, nature is even more fair. The human brain would transmit all its control through a nerve system in our body. The picture is showing is the, the uh, yeah. this one. <laughs> Sorry. So the human nerve system uses the same mechanism as our brain. It uses iron for the transfer of signal, and it's very slow. So the average delay in our body is 150 milliseconds. And the shortest delay is actually between our eyes and the brain. Why? Because our eyes are directly attached to our brain. It's the only organ in our entire body that is directly connected to our brain. And it, that's still 40 milliseconds. So I'm a communications engineer. I look at this equation. We can build a network in 100 milliseconds, transmitting more than 3,000 kilometers. And that is what allows us to control robots far away, but still achieving similar, if equal, performance as a human being. Now, we look at a different equation. So what if there are controls that require a much faster response? like motion control. Yes, so for motion control, we can localize those intelligence. But those intelligence requires very little brain. Think about the mosquito. Mosquito has a tiny little brain. <laughs> Scientists computed the mosquito brain. It has about 10,000 neurons. Not much, but it's enough for the mosquito to fly and you cannot catch it. <laughs> so, this kind of control can stay inside the robot. But for logics, for intelligence, that requires a tremendous amount of brain, billions of times more. That we can put them in a cloud. But how many times do you make a decision per second? 10? Very rare, right? So, 
for a hundred millisecond response time, that requires intelligence. So intelligence, very, very high in computation by the low in frequency of operation. Mechanical control, motion control, very low in intelligence, but a very high in frequency of control. So we balance them so we can build the perfect, balanced, and cost-effective system for robotics of the future. With that vision in mind, we build the world's first cloud robot, a blind guiding system. Guess what? All of a sudden, we can facilitate a blind person with the sensors that he needs, vision. But using natural languages, we can communicate with the blind person as he travels the road. So it replaces the blind guiding dog. But guess what? Since 1935, human beings trained the first blind guiding dog, Meta. We really haven't done much for the blind people, but now it is time to do that. Going forward, we can use the same technology to create family robots as a companion for cleaning, for conversation, caring for the elderly, caring for the young, but last but not least, my favorite part, cooking. Thank you. <laughs>